how to start a commercial cleaning and disinfecting business. How to start a commercial cleaning and disinfecting business. By Kirsty Cheese Home posted August 26, 2020 in Uncategorized Table of Contents 1. Owning a Disinfecting Company Pros and Cons 2. Pros of Starting a Cleaning Business 3. Cons of Starting a Cleaning Business 4. Create Your Business Plan Many companies and services come and go, but one thing is always a necessity, cleaning. Commercial businesses in particular require cleaning services all the time. With that in mind, you may consider starting a business dedicated to cleaning, disinfecting, and sanitizing for clients cleaning, disinfecting, and sanitizing for clients. Starting a sanitizing business during the time of COVID-19 will especially come with opportunities to share your services. Discover how to start a commercial cleaning and disinfecting business below to help clean up your community. Clean up your community, sanitizing, owning a disinfecting company, pros and cons. Is it worth starting a cleaning business? That will depend on your unique situation, but evaluating the pros and cons will help you decide. Weigh the advantages and disadvantages to see if you should start a commercial cleaning company. Pros of starting a cleaning business. Start by considering what would be great about owning a disinfecting business. Your personal experience with starting a business will vary but you will find these pros with a cleaning company. Pros In-demand services Cleaning isn't a one-time service you offer. Every week, even every day, a corporation needs its office cleaned, creating demand for your services. Especially during the coronavirus outbreak, a cleaning business will be in demand. Experts say a cleaning boom is on its way. A cleaning boom is on its way. And that mentality could stick around. 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 Yeah, I'm trying to drink a water because I, I ate like three corns of three years of corns and several small potatoes that I cooked one hour ago at home. Yes, I cooked for myself. Yep. Uh, so that's terrible experience, but that's what I do every night. Okay, so uh, every expert say a cleaning boom is on its way and that mentality will stick around, could stick around. Helping in, in the time of crisis. If the COVID-19 crisis has inspired you to do what you can for your com community, you may want to start a cleaning business. Offering your sanitizing services gives companies and their staff peace of mind as they come to work. Ease of expanding. A cleaning company is relatively easy to grow if you find success. Adding new staff members to your crew 
and taking on more clients gets your sanitizing business closer to success. Flexibility for who you serve. Market your cleaning business to one group of clientele, then shift if you don't find success. Companies are always in need of cleaning, so you are sure to find one that needs your services. Even if you don't, you can always consider a switch to household services until you find a successful market. Household services you gets your business to closer to success. Clientele, one group of clientele. Cons of starting a cleaning business. Of course, starting a business is a challenging journey. For a cleaning company, you will have to deal with cons including expenses of starting a business, time spent submitting applications and waiting for approval, demanding physical labor, competition with your commercial cleaning organizations, other commercial organizations, cleaning organizations. So uh, the pros are in-demand services, helping in the time of a crisis, ease of expanding, and flexibility for who you serve, cons, expenses of starting a business, time spent submitting applications and waiting for approval, demanding physical labor competition with other commercial cleaning organizations. That competition applies to hiring staff members and finding clients. Some clients could already have a cleaning company or find a cheaper option in their search. Find a cheaper option in their search. Find a cheaper option in their search and your staff will want wages that match or surpass what your competition competitors offer. Wage. Find the balance of competitive prices without losing profit and provide the best services you can to beat your comp competitors. Okay, create your business plan register your business, choose a specialty, market to the right clientele, consider funding, consider a location, decide on pricing, purchase the materials, get training and certification. Create your business plan. Now that you know you want to start a business, I'm not sure, but it's time to get a plan in order. This can be a over this can be an overwhelming process, but preparing with an idea of what you need to do will make things a bit easier. Create a checklist for starting a cleaning business and include these steps. 1. Register your business. Creating a company involves following federal, state, and local laws. And disinfecting business is no exception. Is no exception. Is no exception. As you prepare to register your organization, you should research state and local laws, get a business license, apply for an employer identification number, EIN, Apply for an employer identification number, employer identification number, research state tax requirements and open tax accounts. What you need to do in your state will vary, but as you write your business plan, follow these steps.
Draft your executive summary and business description. Research market trends and how your company fits into the local economy. Describe how your company is organized, whether you are the only owner or you fall under another category, whether you fall under another category. Explain what services you will offer. Explain how you will market your services and who you will market them to. Consider how much funding you will need and how much profit you believe you will make. You will need additional information as you register, like your personal details and a name for your business. Pick a name that is simple yet unique and recognizable. Simple, but unique and recognizable. Search your ideas to ensure there isn't a nearby organization with the same name before you decide. Two, choose a specialty. <clears throat> Every organization needs something to stand out. A niche will help you narrow your potential pool of clients and make it easier to acquire the materials you need when you are starting your business. Possible specialties for a sanitizing business include disaster cleaning for issues like floods or fires, crime scene cleanup, medical office cleaning, window and blind cleaning, pressure washing for exterior cleaning, pressure washing, pressure washing for exterior cleaning, restroom cleaning and disinfecting, floor and carpet cleaning. If you want to create a sanitizing business in light of the coronavirus, your niche could be knowledge and execution of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Cleaning Guidelines, disaster cleaning for issues like floods or fires, crime scene cleanup, medical office cleaning, window and blind cleaning, window and blind cleaning, pressure washing for exterior cleaning, restroom cleaning and disinfecting, floor and carpet cleaning, hmm. window and blind cleaning, medical office cleaning. Three, market to the right clientele. As your cleaning business begins, you will need to market yourself to build your client list. Think about the type of clients you will assist. Would you want to work with a small office company, service a larger building? Who you should market to will depend on your location and your competition. An office could already have established partnerships with another commercial cleaning business. Reaching out to new companies may help you find potential clients. Reaching out to new companies, reaching out to new companies may help you find potential clients. Reaching out to new companies may help you find new clients. Four, consider funding. Get a rough idea of how much funding you will need, which will depend on your location, the size of your company, and other needs. You can then consider different methods for funding your disinfecting business like personal financing, investors, crowdfunding, crowdfunding, a small business plan. 5. Consider a location. You don't have much flexibility for your company's location because of where you live, but you can decide on a range. Will you serve a nearby city or do you plan to extend further around? Decide based on your transportation and how many people, if any, you hire 
when starting your organization. Once you decide on a range, range for your commercial cleaning business to cover, consider having a physical location. While you don't meet with clients in person at your location, you could use it for an office for keeping paperwork and answering client calls and emails. Parking for your company vehicles, storage for cleaning supplies and tools. 6. Decide on pricing. Choosing a pricing model for your organization will vary based on several factors. Your location, nearby competition, client market, and your specialty could be grounds for charging more or less for your services. Yeah, could be grounds for charging more or less for your services. To have a better idea of your pricing, you should calculate how much you'd spend on cleaning supplies for one building. Consider expenses for your vehicles or location. Think about how much you want to pay your employees if you have any. You may also go by a case by case basis. You may also go by a case by cases. You could factor in how far a client is from you, the square footage of their office and other qualities that are relevant for your services, the square footage. If you choose this model, your marketing will involve having your clients contact you for a quote, for a quote, for a quote, for a quote, for a quote. Hmm. That's good. 7. Purchase the materials. While startup costs of a sanitizing business can be relatively low, what you need to buy will depend on your niche. If you are servicing large offices or corporations, you will need a lot of cleaning supplies and larger tools to help you clean efficiently. Some offices could have cleaning supplies on hand, but you will look more organized and professional if you show up for a job with your materials. In addition to Environmental Protection Agency EPA approved cleaning chemicals, including disinfectants, glass cleaner, and multi-purpose cleaner, you could, meet, you could need sponges, scrub brushes, and cleaning cloths, cleaning cloths, scrub brushes, scrub brushes, sponges, mops, and water buckets, mops and water buckets, brooms and dust pans, <laughs> dust pans, I forgot the word, that's the word, dust pans, uh, at home I don't have dust pans, I think, I've never seen one lately, uh, in Korea most dust pans are plastic, uh, at least that's the uh, home dust pans are plastic, Maybe at the office, either plastic or metal. So uh, at home, uh, we have dust pans, but not at my home. We just use the vacuum to mop the floor. So mops and water buckets, brooms and dust pans, brooms, brooms and dust pans, vacuums, buckets or carts to carry supplies, protective rubber gloves, Shoe covers, mm -hmm. shoe covers, shoe covers, trash bags, laundry bags. Yeah, in the military we had a lot of laundry bags. Uh, green, army green, laundry bags, trash bags, shoe covers, brooms, dust pans, mops, and the cleaners, uh, sponges, scrubs, um, cleaning cloths. Vacuums, brooms and dustpans, buckets or carts to carry supplies, 
protective rubber gloves, shoe covers, trash bags. Don't forget the materials you will need to operate your company. Have a phone, either your number or a professional line, a laptop or a PC, a printer, and business cards. You will also want to research software to use for your cleaning business. Those tools help you organize your client's information and your staff's schedules. 8. Get training and certification. Working for a disinfecting business involves using and cleaning hazardous chemicals and materials. While your state may not require specific training for your cleaning company, you and your staff will need to know how to work with these materials. Get training for occupational safety and health administration or OSHA. OSHA. Okay, that's quite Im Im important names. I mean, that's the certification authority. In Korea, we have like a OSHA, OSHA graded gloves or OSHA regulations or something like that, even though we are not America. So let's go back. Occupational safety and health administration OSHA regulations concerning Regulations, regulations concerning hazard communication to learn how to work safely. You may also require training for OSHA's hazardous waste operations and emergency response if you work at a site with hazardous wastes. OSHA, Occupational Health uh, occupational Safety and Health Authority, OSHA, Regulations. Get certified with Hazmat School. Contact us today. Get certified with Hazmat School. At Hazmat School, we provide training that complies with OSHA requirements. Get the hazardous waste and material training along with the safety training you and your employees need for your disinfecting business. Join over 20,000 students who seek training from us each year to create a safer work environment for you, your staff, and your clients. Learn what course you should take and check out our course list today. Course list. Hmm. Start your cleaning company confidently, thanks, knowing you and your staff are trained and protected, of course. Christy Chisholm manages Hazmat School's e-learning courses and blog. She looks beautiful. Christy has extensive experience in the online training and education industry. Christy has worked with courses that offer a variety of safety and environmental certifications that satisfy OSHA, EPA, and DOT requirements, Department of Transportation, DOT requirements, OSHA regulations, DOT requirements. So Christy that's Christy Chi's home, recent posts. So today, as a part of uh, my daily uh, English reading, I read the uh, Hesmut School's article about how to start a commercial cleaning and disinfecting business. This article uh, was written by Christy uh, Chi's home. She's a beautiful lady. She's an expert in online uh, or e-learning courses and she also manages a blog uh, and she is part of the Hazmat School. I think she's just 
e-learning expert or e-learning instructor or manager at the school. I don't know where the Hasmat school is, but I think I heard the name before somehow. Uh, so uh, let's go back and try to remember or focus on the uh, some interesting uh, expressions that I want to memorize for my daily English reading. Uh, I live in Korea. I don't have many foreigner friends. So I have to read every day to maintain my English level or to hone in on my English by reading mature years, listening to Voice of America or NBC on my uh, Rocky II set-top box. As a part of my daily reading, I try to read a article for more than 20 minutes per day. So table of contents. Yeah, we learned cleaning cloths, uh, scrubs, sponges, uh, brooms, and dust pans. Yeah, dust pans. I know the word, but I won't memorize the word so that I could, I don't know, maintain my vocabulary up to the far up to the far up up to the par with Americans. Um, regulations, requirements, OSHA, uh, occupational hazard and health authority, OSHA, occupational safety and health authority, EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, Centers for Disease and Control, CDC, uh, DOT, Department of Transportation. Materials, disinfectant, uh, sanitizing, uh, proprietary uh, materials, hazmat school, more or less, code, ask for a code. You'd better go for uh, new customers, new businesses to find. Uh, you know, potential clients, clientele, narrow. Okay, the, those words came to my mind, but to be more specific and to go over uh, the materials that I learned, uh, let's read line by line. I mean, just check out the line by li line. Yeah, you can go by uh, case by case. Basis. You could go by on a you you could go by on a case by cases case basis. You could go by on a case by case case basis. You could go by on a case by case base. Owning a disaffecting company. Pros and cons. Sanitizing business, pros and cons, weigh the advantages and disadvantages in demand services, helping in the time of a crisis, ease of expanding, demanding physical labor, Com competitors, competition, create your business plan, choose a specialty, you consider funding, your crowdfunding, pricing, get training and certification, your hazmat school, federal, state and local laws, federal, state and local laws. Federal, state, and local laws. Federal, state, and local laws. Research. Yeah, you could reach out uh, further. Uh, you could find good people in your search. You could provide a competitive price in finding your potential clients in searching. Yeah, employer identification number EIN. Draft your executive summary and business description. Research market trends and how your company fits into the local economy. 
Describe how your company is organized, whether they are the only owner or you fall under another category. You fall under another category. Explain what services you will offer. Explain how you will market your services and who you will market them to. Consider how much funding you will need and how much profit you believe you will make. Choose a specialty. Yeah, crime scene cleanup. Uh, yeah, toilet cleaning, restroom cleaning and disinfecting, floor and carpet cleaning, window and blind cleaning, medical office cleaning, disaster cleaning for issues like floods or fires. Market to the right clientele. Consider funding, personal financing, investors, crowdfunding, a small business plan. Consider a location, storage for cleaning supplies and tools. Decide on pricing, purchase the materials. Mops and water buckets, mops and water buckets, sponges, scrub brushes, and cleaning cloths, buckets or carts to carry supplies, protective rubber gloves, shoe covers, trash bags, laundry bags, laundry bags, trash bags, shoe covers, protective rubber gloves. Hazard communication, hazmat school, get certified with hazmat school. Chris Kirsty, sorry, Kirsty Chisholm, not Christy, Kirsty Chisholm. She is good looking, no internet. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks for listening.